Hey, hey, it's Anne, and happy Saturday. Um, so I am super excited to get back into another thrifting video. And this one is actually thrifting in South Carolina, um, but mainly Hilton Head. Um, I have a couple of pieces from Charleston, but I didn't have luck at the Charleston thrift stores. Like I thought I would, and the girls um, who went to college and worked at the boutique, they were like, it's really hit or miss. Like, don't get your hopes up. And I was like very optimistic and it just didn't happen. So it is what it is. But I drove uh, an hour and a half to go to two Goodwills in Hilton Head and I found some good stuff. I feel very aligned and good to go. I am good to go. This is the Hilton Head Goodwill. Dear God, dear God, I think it will fit. I think it will fit. Holy shit. Oh my God. Okay, this one I'm on the fence about. It's like very 90s, but I think because it's like burned velvet, I feel like I have to fit it. And like with the right outfit, like this can be very elevated. Um, so yeah, I think. And I also, this is a bag that I got a while back. We're debating about the horse bag. I mean, when I put it here, it just seems like I kind of have to get it. Just for fun. Stain, but this would be a good golf shirt. I don't want to crop it. I think it'd be very cute. These pants might be a little tight on me right now, but they will fit or I will sell them. They're like hand tailor pants. It's like a taffeta plaid. Like, how can I say no? And then the Holy Grail, Mr. Ducks. Look at this. Mr. Ducks. Okay, I'm really excited about this. Myrtle Beach. South Carolina. We need the Mr. Duck study. And then it just needs a little R and R. Just gonna loop this through. And there we go. Mr. Duck. Okay, this is have not looked here. It doesn't feel very promising, but we're doing this together. This is we're doing it live. And if the broom fits right it. I'm not into witchy things. I don't know. Um, no. Cool. This is cool. Full color. <sighs> Debating. I mean, the sleeves have a little weird crinkle. It's gonna bother me. <sighs> okay. A perfectly good shirt. Gone to waste from a bad crinkle. It happens every day. Okay, okay. It doesn't look like much, but I'm really vibing with this top. It's just a simple tube top, but I just feel like with a tan, it would look so cute, and it just goes with a lot. So that's coming with me. Okay, here's our final items. Okay, so this is the original item I found. Um, beyond, beyond, okay. I don't even know if I can sell that. Um, these pants, which kind of looked cool with this. Um, I like was debating, but I'm like, they are like a really cool pant. As long as they're not dry clean only. We'll see how much they are. They're like 10 bucks. Forget it. Um, gotta get this, because when I go golfing, I like need something when it's a little chillier. And then again, I can sell it too. Um, this, I'm probably gonna put back. It's like an Adidas. Like this green is really hot right now, and it's like new tags. And it says Mount Vernon Country Club. So I'm like, that is cool, but like, I just gotta settle down. Um, so then this is the Burn Velvet shirt that I'm gonna take. Is that a freaking stain? What the freak? Um, I'm just 
just gonna let it go because this isn't gonna be like a game changing make it or break it piece for me. I mean, I could crop it, but you know what? I mean, it's like I, you could get like something thrifted from Charlotte Russe that's like this, you know? I gotta like talk myself down out of this stuff, um, or else like I'm doomed, you know? I, I buy too many things. And then it's like, now I have like 20 things to list and I'd rather not, so. So the first thing, I spilled coffee on this, but it is an Argyle sweater. It has like a golf logo on this arm. But anyway, I got like three or four compliments walking down the street today on my like plaid on plaid outfit. So I'm really excited about that. But yeah, that's the first thing. And then next thing is this sweater. It is a yellow, let's see yellow kind of plaid knit sweater. It's like a faint plaid, you know? It's just like a throw on and go kind of thing. Um, so nothing really that exciting about that. Um, then this one, it's like an Asian style top in terms of this kind of detail here. And then it looks like that. So yeah, I might sell this one. I don't know if this is gonna look that cute on me, um, I feel like if you have bigger boobs, this can be a look that's not the most flattering, but anyway, I just thought it was so unique, so I had to have it. Bear with me, I had to restart the video camera to delete something, because the memory was full. But anyway, this is a really cute Argyle vest that I got, so the Argyle gods were good to me. Um, and it is like a golf wear kind of shirt, and it's like a vest, obviously. Um, but I think I'm gonna sell this one. It is really, really cute, but I just think someone else, like the light pink is more, um, someone else is gonna love it, but not really my bag. I keep saying that phrase all the time. It's like, it's not my bag. Um, so then this is kind of an eccentric piece. It is a knitted, uh, rainbow vest. This is how it looks. I just feel like with the right outfit, it could be something, you know? And then I got these, um, what are these? Wide leg striped pants. And what's the brand? Oh, it's called Wherever. It's like a 90s kind of brand. I don't know. But it's new with tags. It looks like it came from Mervyn's. Um, that's a deep cut right there. Good old Mervyn's. Um, just reminds me of my grandma. Um, but yeah, they're just like a cool pair of like cuffed wide leg. I just thought this was such a cool piece. Um, I don't know on camera if it's really showing up as good as it is in person, but whatever. Um, this, okay, these I'm really excited about. They're like Hawaiian pants. Oh my God. I feel like Reformation keeps doing like printed pants and this is kind of like the old school version. Um, I actually haven't tried these on yet. It's, that's the label. So it looks like a kind of like bohemian like vacation pant. So this is one of my top pieces. I think this uh, Argyle sweater and this are my one and two picks. Um, then I have this, I'm loving this like forest green color. It says Mr. Ducks and it's an inside joke with me and my friend Hannah. <laughs> And mostly my friend Katie about Guzman. Um, he's dating my friend and it's a nickname that we have, but I thought Mr. Ducks was funny. Um, but yeah, I think this is just like a cool sweater. It's like Mr. Ducks on the front, Mr. Ducks on the back. Um, solid. So then this is like an Argyle, no, not Argyle. It is a cable knit um, sweater and I like the quarter zip. That's a cool feature. And yeah, it's just like a good old vintage sweater. I always pick up vintage sweaters and sell them. Um, and sometimes I keep them. I feel like I have enough sweaters at the moment, but that's something I always lean to, um, whether I need them or not. And, and then this one is like a golf um, little polo, but I thought this was cool in terms of the crest here. Um, I just liked that and I just feel like this, yeah, Magnolia Greens, I feel like this cropped is like really cute with a um, 
denim skirt or a plaid skirt or something. It's very like golfer chic and I just feel like that's where spring is heading. Then this is a maxi skirt. It has a really cool striped pattern. It's red and blue, so I thought I'd get that. Then this is an all saint, no, John Barbados shirt I got for my brother. So hopefully he likes it. Um, he's not a big thrifter, but whatever. Um, this is a brown plaid skirt. I love this plaid so much. It looks a bit too big. Um, so I wanna like alter it and see if it would work, but it's just, it's so good. It's so good, so I had to get it. If not, I'll sell it and like something will love that. Oh, this is actually maybe my favorite piece. So this is a vest, it's a rainbow like patterned vest. I don't know what this pattern is, but it's absurd. It is just, I've never seen anything like it. I always look for vests, they're very hard to find. And then this is either the brand or it was a vintage store, it says try one. So yeah, this is absurd. And it's a size large. Again, I think I'm gonna keep it, but if I sell it, you know, I'll take any takers. <laughs> um, this one's one to sell. I just thought like a good like um, bohemian kind of jacket piece could be cool to have. Um, yeah, I think it's like Indian maybe. But yeah, it reminds me of Orchid Lane in college. Shout out Orchid Lane, um, which is no longer with us in Ann Arbor. So that that's sad. Um, yeah, we'll just take a moment for Orchid Lane. And then I got this cool knit holiday-esque sweater, but it's like not too holiday. I guess you could ski sweater, whatever. I just thought it was like just a solid piece. And I think I'm gonna sell this one. So I sell, I sell like half, okay, whatever tag, doesn't matter, but I sell half of the things to then buy other things. Um, it's a cycle and I love it. And then these pants, okay, look at this plaid. This is absurd. It's like kind of like a taffeta fabric. Um, and then the booty has good stitching on it. Let's see, and tailored, no, it's silk. It's like a heavier silk. But yeah, this is absurd. I love these so much. I haven't tried them on. I actually hope they fit, but I don't mind. Like I can I can sell them, I can do whatever. Um, I've been getting a lot of cable knit sweaters, so this is just like a cute sherbet color that I thought was good for spring. And then just a couple more things. So then these shoes, they're very Carrie Bradshaw. A little kitten heel. And they have this cute detail on the front, like that stitching I thought was really cute. So I got these, I think these are a size nine, which is my size. And then, oh wait, two things actually. Okay, this is a horse purse. I've been using it today, so that's why it has the hair club, but it has this cool like drop shadow on it. And I just thought it was like just adorable. So I was wearing it today and I really liked it. And then last but not least, I got this vintage phone. Oh my God, it doesn't even have the cord. I could always find like a little like cord lying around my parents' house because God knows they've kept everything they've ever had in their life. So I just thought this was so unique and I love the buttons. Again, like vintage pieces like this are having such a moment. I follow so many Instagram accounts. And I just figured, you know, why not? Um, so yeah, it would be good. It'd be a great prop in a photo shoot. I just think this is a great piece. So anyway, that is that. Um, let me know what piece you like the most. And again, I will try and get some more footage around Charleston and see if there is some place that is the best. Um, so I'm gonna go and check out another like thrift vintage store. Um, but yeah, um, make sure to give it a thumbs up and a subscribe and I'll talk to you guys soon.